I watched an interview yesterday from a little bit, like a week or two back, where the Taiwanese foreign minister was talking to, I think it was PBS, and commented that the country of China has flown 2,000 sorties in 2020. So that would be 2,000 uh, ingresses, egresses into Taiwanese airspace by the Chinese military 2,000 times in 2020. Good morning, I'm Pastor Phil. This is Morning Meditation, and I've been watching more news than I do normally. Um, and I've got to say the one thing that stands out to me is the world is not in a good place. Um, you listen to various newscasts and they talk about how Russia is responsible for uh, the cyber attacks that have occurred recently. Russia uh, apparently in the Geneva meeting of NATO went through and said, nope, we didn't do this. We've got the uh, coronavirus that's going around that now they're saying was a lab leak from Wuhan, but they're arguing it wasn't. And at the same time, the Chinese are saying, we did it. There's nations like Iran with nuclear power who just recently had to turn off their nuclear reactor under emergency circumstances. Uh, I couldn't find out what it was, but they had to turn it off under emergency circumstances. We've got things like Chernobyl that are still leaking radiation. And then uh, the facility in Japan that apparently is still leaking radiation into the ocean. We've got fault lines that periodically start to rumble. And across the world, we have militaries setting up to go to combat. All the while, here in the United States, uh, we've got inflation and civil unrest and all kinds of just unpleasantness. As Christians, a really reasonable question becomes, what do we do? Primarily, we keep our eyes focused on Jesus. I want to share a passage with you. This is Deuteronomy chapter 31, verse 8. The Lord is the one who goes ahead of you. He will be with you. He will not fail you or forsake you. Do not fear or be dismayed. As we look at the world around us, there's lots and lots of places to be fearful and to be dismayed. And the simple reality is that we hear Moses talking to Joshua inside of our text here. And he is making the promise that God made, that he will never, ever leave his people, that he will be behind them and in front of them, that he will never leave them or forsake them. And as we hear this promise, we can look at the world around us and feel secure. Of all the things that you could possibly feel, you can feel secure. Because Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, stands today the exact same way that he did in the past. So as we look at rising prices, we know that things are going to be uncomfortable and we've got to figure it out, but we also rejoice knowing that Jesus is the same. As we uh, see our dollar not go as far as it has in the past, we also could be okay with it because, well, it's unpleasant. We know that God is in control and that he is going to take care of us and protect us. Now, what that provision looks like, I have no idea. It'd be nice to be a fly on the wall for that meeting, but I, I don't know. But what we do know is that we have a Lord who does not leave us hanging. He doesn't leave his children left to the wolves. Instead, he loves us so much that he took care of our biggest problem in sin. And yes, we do live in the consequences of it, yet we still deal with death, the devil, uh, well, and sin itself in our lives. But we rejoice and we take hope knowing that Jesus' work was enough for each one of us. And we celebrate this. So as you watch the news, I want you to remember Deuteronomy 31, verse 8. I'm going to read it for you one more time. The Lord is the one who goes ahead of you. He will be with you. 
He will not fail you or forsake you. Do not fear or be dismayed. Go forward. No fear. Knowing that God is with us. God bless you, and I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.